हेलो हेलो टीचर गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू टुडे फाइन थैंक यू टीचर हाउ अबाउट यू Give me one second I'll be right back. Okay teacher. Okay. All right. So how are you? How was your day today, class? It was nice day, teacher. Yes, what did you do? I rest in my house a little. And I, I went out in the afternoon. Oh yeah, where did you go? Um, a day. <laughs> where? Uh, um, I don't know how to say. It. It's a day, but not with a man. It's a day. A cita. Um, with my acrylic, acrylic. I agree with that. Yeah, it's a date. Okay. It's a date. Okay. A date with a friend. Okay. All right, cool. Welcome back everyone. Good teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. How was your day today? How are you? Um uh, I'm a little, a little tired because this day was, I was very uh, busy for for business with another person, a stranger. Okay. Extranjero, stranger, for or foreign? No, it's foreigner. Foreigner for. Uh, repeat for foreigner foreigner okay like foreigner. the band like the band do you remember the okay. band foreigner band? no they sing i, I want to know okay. for, uh, yes yes i remember i want to know what love is yes foreigner mm -hmm. in spanish is extranjero of course Yes. Yes. Yes, it's true. Hold on, let me open the video. Hold on. Okay. Hey, Miguel, you're in a different room. Yes, teacher, in my bedroom. No, my bedroom, bedroom. <laughs> <Sorry>. oh, okay. <laughs> so, why, 
<laughs> What's up, no. Miguel? It's, it's my bedroom. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, man. because <laughs> yesterday you said you went to the bathroom three times. <laughs> yes. Sorry, sorry, I confused. <laughs> okay. No, you know, I'm one sorry. time, one time, a long, long time ago, I did have one student that he went to the bathroom. <laughs> but it was, it was, um, everybody, the class, they saw him take off his clothes and sit down. But he didn't know. He didn't know. I imagine he forgot to turn the video off. You know, se lo podía apagar. I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. You have a problem with, with your body? <laughs> with her body? It's, all, it's almost probably with you, Miguel. Hmm? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's no problem. He's faster in the bedroom. In the bathroom. Yeah, he he's <laughs> he's in the bathroom. He said. Yes. It's faster. One, two, three. To the point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's continue this so we can start the lesson. One second, please. Let me see. Hold on, please. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. What screen word is beautiful? All right, cool. So then this is an email. Yes, to Ted. There are three paragraphs. Katya, can you read the first paragraph, please? Okay. But I can see. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Can you? Can you see it now? No. Okay, let me do this. Please. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Dear Ted, I hope you are well. My exams start next week, so I haven't had time to keep in touch. In touch. Mm -hmm. The last time you wrote, you said you had started starting doing show at the at the com comedy club. That's great. I remember how you always used to make make us laugh until we cry. I'm glad you're finally able to show off your ta to your talent. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You know what? I'm going to read. Thank you very much. I'm going to read because it's maybe it's difficult for you. Some people are in a cell phone. Some people are in laptops or tablets, and it's very difficult to read. So the second paragraph it says, "School is okay. Some of my classes are great, and some are awful. My astronomy class should be interesting, but the professor somehow found a way to make it boring." But I love my literature class. My professor is passionate about the books we read, and she really knows how to keep us interested. I'd better get back to studying, but please write again soon. Tell everyone hello from me, and I'll try to be better about staying in touch. Your friend, Gordy. So is Ted a talented musician 
Comedian. Comedian, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Comedian. True. True. It's true. Gordy enjoys his astronomy class. False. False. Gordy False. doesn't. Okay, Gordy doesn't enjoy his literature class. It's false. It's false, right? Yes. Gordy doesn't like his literature professor. False. False. Oh yeah, it's false. It's yes. Gordy doesn't pay. Uh, uh, Gordy doesn't plan to stay in touch with friends from home. False. 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 <laughs> Part two, it says, instructions, read the letter of complaint, then check true or false. Dear madam. <laughs> Dear madam, last week I was shopping in your store with a friend and your salesperson, Roberta, refused to help us. I don't understand why she was too, uh, so rude to us. I was insulted, but I was also baffled. There were other customers in the store and she was nice and helpful to them, but she ignored us. When she finally spoke to us, she seemed irritated. My friend wanted to buy a dress after waiting for 30 minutes to be helped. We left. Why your salesperson chose to be rude to us and not, uh, and not to others is a mystery to me. I love your store, but my concern is whether I'll be treated disrespect disrespectfully if I shop there again. Sincerely, Jane Morris. Jane went shopping by herself? False. False. She went with her friend, correct? Roberta was rude to everyone in the store? False. False. That was false. Roberta wanted to buy a dress. False. Jane usually likes the store. True. 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 Okay, let's do 3.0, lesson objective. By the end of this section, participants will be able to use present unreal conditions with unless, only if, and even if. So let's pay attention to this. Let's see what this is about. Hi, we're about... Can you hear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. I want to talk about present and real conditionals with unless, only if, and even if. Get ready. Present and real conditional with unless, only if, and even if. Unless clauses include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. I would keep it a secret unless my co-worker continued lying about it. Only if clauses stress the condition for the result. I would keep it a secret only if I liked my co-worker. Even if clauses are followed by unexpected results. Even if I were really broke, I would return the extra money to the bank. The likelihood of an event in the main clause happening is expressed by the conjunctions unless, only if, even if. These conjunctions are used in the conditional clause. If shows the most likelihood. If 
Example, I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. Meaning, if I really needed the money, I would take it. Let's take a look to another example. I would take the money only if I really needed it. Meaning, I would take the money only under these particular circumstances. For example, not knowing who had dropped it. And the last example, I wouldn't take the money even if I really needed it. Meaning, I wouldn't take the money for any reason. Read the following situations. What would you do? You may use unless, even if, only if in your responses. I would keep it a secret unless. Okay, let me see. So it says, unless clauses include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. I wouldn't tell the bank unless, only if clauses stress conditions for the results. And even if clauses are followed by unexpected results. Okay, so listen, unless clauses include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. For example, I wouldn't go to a Bad Bunny concert, never in my life, unless, unless my boss invites me and maybe I get promoted. <laughs> So, Maybe. Yeah, so listen, unless clauses include an exception that would change my decision. Okay, yes. Yes. See, so did you understand that example? Maybe like, unless my boss invites me and says, come on, let's go and let's talk about <laughs> and talk about your promotion. Sure, Bad Bunny, yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. Okay, what about you? Uh, give me an example, Sir Hiroreta. Using unless. Hey, teacher. Let me see. I wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to Banda genre unless I get money for do it. Unless I get paid. Oh, okay, unless I get paid. Yeah. Have you ever been to Mexico? Uh, no, really. Have you ever been to the United States? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I don't like banda music, I don't, but when you are in a Mexican, in a Mexican event and they play banda, man, that's interesting. It's, a, it's very popular. It is. No, but it's very, it's very interesting to see people dance. Doom, 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 doom. I don't like it. I, I don't like it, but I like to watch. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yes. One thing I noticed that people that dance banda, they're never happy. They're always serious. Doom. See, who knows why? Yes. It's like when people buy bachata or salsa, they're always happy. Like, Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's different. It is. I don't oh, know. Very... Maybe, maybe exist a pair of songs that I could say that I, 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 I like that songs. Those uh, songs, but in general, the genre is, is not my favorite. No it's, no, it's true. I understand. Me too. I, I don't like reggaeton. I don't like banda, but I do like some songs. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that I will listen to that or, or have it in my car. All right. Uh, let me see. Milton, give me an example. Now, remember, this is not, you don't necessarily have to start negative. You can start um, affirmative. Um... I would 
I would uh, play soccer unless uh, afternoon, unless uh, raining. Un unless it rains. Very good. It rains. Good. I wouldn't, I would never go on a cruise unless it's maybe 20 minutes. Teacher, how do you say apuesta? Bet. 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't put the, the, the Real Madrid teacher unless I lost bet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Yes, it's true. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet for or también se puede decir como I wouldn't bet for ¿Cómo se llama este hombre? Sergio Umaña o Chiquillo Periquillo. Ah, oh, he's a, a crazy man. Oh, he's a comedian. I, I wouldn't bet for him. Unless all the politicians in El Salvador die. Yes. Or, or example, I wouldn't vote for X person unless. Yes. Okay. Uh, Marielos, give me an example. Okay. I would go to the beach unless it's rain. I will go to the beach unless it starts raining. Okay. okay. JJ, can you give me an example? Okay. Um, I go to dance in um, party um, unless I know the step. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Can you repeat, please? Oh, uh, um, I will like in a party. But I, I can dance, but I dance unless if I can, I know the step. No, it's not correct. Because it says I wouldn't, I, I would dance. But I don't dance because I, I, I don't, I, I don't know the step. But uh, if I know the step, unless I know the step, I, I will dance. But you're saying two affirmatives. Yes. No, but are you saying I would dance or I wouldn't dance? Mm, I would dance, but I don't. Um, I don't, I can't dance. <laughs> okay, entonces, en ese sentido, it's not unless. That would be only if. Ah, okay. I would dance only if I knew the steps. Yes, yes. Because, look, if clauses stress the condition mm -hmm. for the okay. result, well, it's kind of similar to unless, but it's just to stress the condition more. It's a little, a little different. Mm -hmm. um, I would go to a classic Barcelona Real Madrid if I sit in the Real Madrid. So if I have no option, <laughs> I would go with a Real Madrid shirt. But I would be like this. Do you understand my situation? Yes. Mm -hmm. So imagine I am a big Barca fan and I am in Spain and I want to go watch the classic, but there are no more tickets for the game, only in the Real Madrid section. Yeah. So wow. I, it's a problem. It is yes. a problem. <laughs> so I would have to, uh, I would go if... I would still go if it's only in the Real Madrid section. The problem is I, I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's the only problem. I would I would be like this all day. Yeah. 
<laughs> I remember one time I went to watch Aguila Faz, a final. And um, I like Aguila. So the person next to me, he was an um, Aguila fan, but he was from Santa Ana. So he told me that he dressed in Faz so he can get a free ride <laughs> from Santa Ana to the stadium. <laughs> hey, that was smart. Because he had the shirt in his pants, the Faz shirt. Mira, cuando me vaya, voy a pedir ride de la iglesia. <laughs> because he lived in Santana. That was smart. Okay. Okay, let me see. Um, Miguel Ramirez. Would, would you go to a party today? I, today? Yeah, oh. imagine there's a party today in your friend's house. Would you go? No. You, would, you wouldn't go to a party? No, no, teacher. Imagine this is an important party. Oh, okay. Hello. Bye. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, for example, because we are all adults, we all work, we don't have friends getting young, hey, let's go to a party, like when we were 20, remember? But you know, and you say, no, man, tomorrow I have to work, I have to sleep. I would go to a party only if it's something important. Only if, oh, okay. If maybe like the clients are there. Is is no... Is Octium, only Octium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so remember, only if is estresando la condition. It's like, yeah, I would okay. go, but only if. Okay. You know, sometimes your boss tells you, hey, it's like a cliente, come on, come on, you know, oh, okay, you know. So I would go to a party today only if the clients go. Okay, and even if these are ex, um, these are followed by unexpected results. Even if Nuegado paid me $100, I would never vote for him. Repeat, sir. Do you remember Nuegado, our president? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, vi un meme que realmente él fue el primer hombre en la luna de Salvador, no que salió hoy. Yeah. Yeah. That was funny. So, but listen, I I would I wouldn't or like imagine he offered me $100. Nuegado says, "Hey, here's $100. Vote for me." Even if he gave me one hundred dollars, I wouldn't vote for him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I would take the money. Como los los quienes fueron en una manifestación del. No me acuerdo si fue el primero de mayo que los de arena o no sé quién le pagaban como quince dólares. Pero los brutos pagaron en anticipado. Entonces le escribieron, hey, gracias por todo, Arena, pero no voy a ir porque, pero tengo hambre. So they took the money and, and they didn't go to the manifestation. So that's what I would do. I would take the money, but even if they pay me $200, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to, I wouldn't vote for Nuegado. Even if, or only if my mother 
Only if my grandmother asked me, I would go to church. Yo iría a la iglesia solo si me lo hubiera pedido mi abuela. Solo si, but even if it's, aunque me lo hubiera pedido de ella, no hubiera ido. You understand? So even if it's like more negative. Yeah. Sara. Yes. Let me give you an example, okay? But this is, I, I want you to imagine, this is not true. Okay? Okay. Imagine you are watching TV. And you see in the TV that five people were robbing a bank. Yes? Yes. But one of those five people is your boyfriend. And you're like, oh my God, that's Roberto. Would you call the police? Um. You can invent, I mean, it's no problem. But remember, we're using only if or even if. Okay, even if I I call the police, I will then <clears throat> I will then uh, I will then <laughs> I will then I I will then. Robert, a lot of money? No, I don't understand. I mean, I'm not talking about you robbing. You are watching the news. You turn on tele, tele, can, uh, Cuatro Vision, and you saw four people, five people robbing a bank, and one of those five people is your boyfriend. Would you call the police? Okay, I, but I. Would you call I the police? Use, yes or no? I, mm -hmm. Go ahead. I can use golden or even if. I don't know because I don't know your answer. Okay, I will then, um, I will then call the police. Um, I will, yeah, I will then call the police. Even if. Even if my I, I know it's my boyfriend. Even if uh, he's not my boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend then. Okay, please yes. listen. Okay, Sara, listen to my example. Your boyfriend's <laughs> name is Mario. Okay, your fictional boyfriend. Yes? Yeah. But he is your boyfriend in this story. Okay. <laughs> Okay? Okay. So you turn on the TV, you put Cuatro Vision, and today in the afternoon, there was a robbery in the bank, and the camera saw these five people. And one of those people is Mario, your boyfriend. And your reaction is, oh, oh my God. Class, do you understand the story? The, the Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. So, Sara, would you call the police? Okay. Lo siento, I wouldn't call the police. No están disponibles en este dispositivo. Sorry. Go ahead. I wouldn't call the police. Uh-huh. Even if he is an... He's in my boyfriend? No. Es que es su novio. Es su novio. Ya sabemos que es su novio. Ese no es el punto. Le estoy preguntando. ¿Usted llamaría a la, a la policía sabiendo que él es el que robó? Yes, I understand. But, but I, I can use uh, the part I wouldn't. 
Call the police. No, okay, I wouldn't call the police. Even if I recognize him, even if I know he is Mario. Do you know? Okay. For example, the mothers, the mothers of Mareros in this moment. Yes? Yes. La mamá que tienen hijos mareros en this moment. They wouldn't call the police even if they know their son is a marero. Correct? Yes. Yes. It's natural. It's a mother's love. I understand that. <laughs> so that was that was like my example, Sara. Would you call the police even if you know it's your boyfriend that's robbed the bank? Who can help Sara with the answer? Okay, I wouldn't call a police even if I recognize uh, he's my boyfriend. Okay, olvide que es su novio, porque ya sabemos que es su novio. Entonces solo diga, okay, no llamaría a la, poli la policía, aunque yo lo reconociera que es él, aunque sé que es Mario, aunque... Aunque, aunque él no me ame, no, whatever. Pero don't, don't get confused with the boyfriend part. Okay, um, I wouldn't call the police even if I recognize him. Him. Good. Yes, it's true. I wouldn't call the police even if I recognize him. And then I imagine you later, you call him. Hi, Mario. Oh, hola, baby. So, what did you do this afternoon, Mario? Oh, nothing. I was with my friends. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> yeah. No, and the reason why I ask you that, because it's a very difficult question. When it's somebody you love and you know they're doing something bad, would you do it? For example, when um, it was very sad for me to watch the mothers being arrested by the police. La mamá que cubrían a, lo, a sus hijos mareros, remember? Yes. It was sad, but oh, I'm sorry, man. It was sad, but it's your fault. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, but but I understand the mother part, the love part, you know. I understand that part. Okay, who can, um, Sara, did you understand the example? Yes. Okay, good, thank you. No, yes, but I, in that moment, I understand that, that part when I use the, um, uh, even if, but I, but in this moment, I understand. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, cool. So. Teacher, allow me to try. All right, go ahead. You want to give an example or you want me to give an example? Um, I give you uh, an uh, example. Okay. Okay, good. Even even if my boss requests me shame to the another department, and offer more salary, uh, I cannot accept. Oh, interesting, interesting. Why not? Um, because I, um, I am happy in the, my, in the quality department. And but, but it's more money. Um, if, no, but the production, uh, but the production area is more, it's more hard for uh, for my opinion. <laughs> All right, cool. I understand. And and I and I work uh, in the inquiry uh, area uh, for um, twenty two years. Uh, for twenty two years. Yeah. Oh, okay. Listen. Listen to this interesting one, Irena. Irena? Yes, teacher. Okay. Technically, you are single, correct? Yes. 
would you move to another country if you get a really, really, really good job offer? Would you move to Russia? Yes. I move to Russia. I would move to Russia. I will move to Russia. Only if? Only if I have a good salary and good uh, benefits. All right, good. All right, good. That question has appeared to me many times because I have had job offers to go to Costa Rica or Honduras, but I have declined. Why? Because of your family? Yes. And the, the offer, it was only for you? It was only for me. Oh, uh, okay. It was only for me and, and a coworker, so they were going to pay an apartment for us, okay. so, I, you know. Yes. And um, no, I... I can't be away with my son. Yes, yes, I know. It's comprehensive. <laughs> yeah, that, that in, in situations like this is when questions come up. Like, for example, I, I like Alex's example. I wouldn't move departments even if my boss recommended me to another department with more money. Yes. But sometimes, um, in the case of him, uh, I think is is in, he has reason because when the the work is hard, it's more uh, it's harder. Correct, harder. It's harder than the ones that you have actually. I think it's better to stay there. Yes. No, yes. And remember, the older you get, you don't need more stress. You yes. Need, you need less stress. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So that, that's that's pretty much. So only if es algo que hacemos, pero si lo haríamos ahorita, solamente si. Yes. You know, only if, like, for example, Marielos. Where's Marielos? Hi, Marielos, are you there? Hi, yes, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thanks, teacher. Marielos, would you... Give me the only, the only reason why you would drink tequila. Oh, because you don't, you, you, you don't drink tequila. You don't drink, no. correct? All right, good. Yeah. Okay, very good. But give me the only reason why you would do it. Uh, I don't know. I you can think use only if. if, if but only. No, I, I can say only if. <laughs> only if. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, for example, um, I would I would drink tequila only if it goes in a recipe in, in una receta or something. Um, a bad you, drink? Drink? I don't know, using the on a receipt, maybe, but. <laughs> but what about, would, would you drink a shot of tequila? Oh, I don't know. What, okay. Don't know. Ah, okay, pero... okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I would drink, would drink, is correct? Mm -hmm. I, would drink, I would drink tequila only if I had too much, uh, Cold? I am very cold. I'm very cold. Okay. Very good. Hey, that's a good example. Okay. I would drink tequila only if I am very cold. I am I am in yes. Russia. Yes. Do you know that or in Russia? Machu Picchu. <laughs> yes. Oh, ask Katya. Katya said yes. it was very cold. I'm a coca. <laughs> yes. Um I um in Russia, I think that uh, employees can drink, they can drink vodka in the work because it's very cold. Yes. Oh. Teacher, another example can be 
Marielos is drink a shot of tequila only if Mar it's Marielo only... would drink. Ah, Marielo, Marielos will drink a shot of tequila only if it's an example in English class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For example, remember I told you me before I used to smoke. I used to smoke. Now I don't. Now I hate I hate the smell of smoke. It's, oh. I don't like it. I would never smoke in my life again. Only if I am in a place where there are many mosquitoes and oh maybe that's the only the only way I would smoke, but if not, there's I will never smoke in my life again. You better use off, teacher. Use that what? Better use off. There is an insecticida. Mm -hmm. Anti mosquitoes. It's called off. That's the name of the. Oh yes. Repellente. Off. Oh. <laughs> off. You better okay. use off instead of smoke. It's like, you know, my wife, her dream is she wants to go on a cruise, on a boat, on a cruise. Mm -hmm. And I, I will never, ever go on a cruise. Never. Mm -hmm. Only if maybe it's from here to Guatemala or something. I know maybe from here to San Miguel only. <laughs> Are you afraid of it? No, but the thing is that really, I think cruises, they're not. Cruise is a hotel in the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything you do in a cruise, you can do in a hotel, swimming pool, disco. Mm -hmm. So why, why go in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> Maybe because the adrenaline is different. For in five days. Of the ocean. Yes, but I have seen some videos of cruises. Yes. And, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell my wife, let's go to a nice hotel in front of the beach. It's the same thing. And if you win the 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 uh, the, tour. the travel the tour. The, oh, oh yeah, good question. If I win a tour, like a trip, uh, on a cruise. Number one, I wouldn't tell my wife. <laughs> and number two, I would secretly sell it. Secretly, I would what? secretly okay. sell it. I would sell it. Okay. Venderlo. Uh -huh. But if I went the trip in front of my wife, I would invite my mother-in-law. Like, Suegra, mm -hmm. you go, you go. I'll give you my seat. Go with your daughter. Spend mother-daughter time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mother <-daughter>. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> and you yes. say, leave me alone, and now I am free. Yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> go ahead, have fun. Yes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> So let's see the next page. It says, if. If is like. Shows the most likelihood. Conjunctions are used in the conditional clause. If shows the most likelihood. Like, likelihood is probability. Okay. That's like, I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But there has to be a condition why you would accept that or why you would not accept that. Alex. Yes. So would you move? I, OK, I remember what you told me that you wouldn't. You wouldn't move from the apartment, correct? OK. Would you move departments if? They offer you general manager? Only if, <laughs> only if uh, obligation, obligation. 
No, Uh-oh. but it, it, they're offering you general manager. Oh, would general you move? Manager. Would you would you change departments if you go as a general manager? In the same in the, in the same department? No, in the company. Mm, I I don't know. This is a it's a it's a, a big problem. Yes. No, oh, uh, I move. Uh, I move another another mm, no another puesto de trabajo. ¿Cómo sería? Another, to another position. Another position, uh, only if in the same department. Okay, good, good. Irena, what would you say if your boyfriend proposes to you? Mm. Wait, I'm sorry, is he there in this moment? No. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> you know, like imagine, imagine Irena is in speaker, like, uh-huh. okay, <laughs> what? What did you tell him? No, well, you would say tomorrow, no tomorrow. Say, and no. today didn't say anything, and tomorrow say me, you know, um, maybe we we can continue with this relationship <laughs> yes but what would you say if if he proposes to you mm, well i only accept if he gets a seriously uh, say compromise compromise a serious compromise. Okay. Hey, but proposing is a very serious compromise. Yes, I know. I mm. don't know, teacher. That no. No, I didn't see in, in that moment before. And now I get a scare. Yes, it's true. <laughs> hey, but you know what? If you feel it, do it. I have an uncle. My uncle, he, my uncle and my aunt, they have been married 50 years, 50. Can, can really? you imagine that? But my uncle, he is like the perfect gentleman. You know, he always opens the door for my aunt, always. Wow. When we go to wow. a restaurant, he always put, you know, pulls her, her chair and mm-hmm. gives her the menu. What do you want, baby? Like, like their boyfriends. Wow. Yeah. And the funny part is there's the compromise because last year we went to the beach. They came to visit and we went to the beach. And they decided to walk the complete beach holding hands. Mm-hmm. So the problem was that my wife, my suegra, my aunt, everybody, they were looking like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then they look at me, you know, like they can <laughs> okay. And they and they <laughs> say, What what happened to you? Sorry yes, your uncle and aunt, and why you don't? And I tell oh, ATO, come on, you. man. Yeah, you know, uncle, you make us look bad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, different. And he sure. and he is the brother of your mother or your father? Oh my mother. Okay. And uh, uh, is uh, how can I say, más comprometido. It's more yes, it's, it's right? more compromise because you know they have money, they have a lot of money. So, but because they work very hard, but every year they, I think they know all the world, and they wow. always travel together. Only them two. Wow. So that day when they came. They rented a coaster because the whole family, we went to the Cameron. And in the bus, they sit together and they hold hands. Wow. Wow. Yes, it's like 50 years, come on. It's, it's, amazing. it's amazing, it's correct to say amazing. It's amazing, it's beautiful. Yeah. But yeah. I tell my wife, hey, mira, no voy a dejar paja, okay? 
cuando. <risa> Problem. This is the reality. <risa> Problem. No, and you know, like, because all the women always tell them, how do you do it? How, why are you too happy? Y no sé qué. And in this case, it's my uncle, not my aunt. Like, okay. if, if they go oh. buy shoes, if they go buy shoes for her, she sits down and he puts the shoes on her. Wow. Wow. Yeah, sí, nos hace ver bastante mal a los hombres. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gentleman. Okay. Yeah, so that's why that's why yeah. I ask I ask you, Irena, is your boyfriend there in this moment? Because I don't want to compromise. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you would accept only if he shows. Compromise, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Only if he shows compromise. All right, Mayra. Yes. Mayra Sensio, are you there? Hi. Yes. Hi, teacher. What is the only condition that Alex gives for him to change positions? Sorry, can you repeat this? Remember, Alex, what is his only condition if he changes positions in his job? Mm. Do you remember what he said? No, I don't remember. Oh, you don't? Yes. Who remembers? Marielos? Me, teacher. Okay. okay. Um, Alex would change uh, his position in the, in the job only if... He, um, he's in, in the same department. Yes. He would change only if it's the same department. All right, good. Okay, Maida, I'm going to ask you another one, and this is an easy one. Okay. Why or how would Irene say yes to her boyfriend? Um... Only if, okay, you say only if uh, he shows, shows compromise. Exactly. And my opinion, it would be if, if his mother is far away from her. From him. <laughs> from him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's true. No, but that was very good. Only if he shows compromise. Yes. Sara Martinez, you have two children, correct? Yes. Would you have another child? No. <laughs> no. Okay. I, give will me... then have, I will then another child because... Give me, no, but give me an example using yes. I would have another child only if... A mistake. Okay, I go uh, have another child, even uh, if no, my only, husband no. paid you a million dollars. Sarah, only let... if my <laughs> yes, <laughs> only uh -huh. if my husband, my husband uh, um get a lottery, la lottery, a lottery, <laughs> the lottery. <laughs> Very good. He gave you a million dollars. Yes. Very Maybe. good. Or, yes. or something like that. I imagine you were saying. I imagine you were saying. No, I imagine you would say like I would. I would have another child only if Kavil is the father. Who? What What is that? Su Superman's name? I don't know. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Uh, okay. <laughs> I would have another child only if Henry. Okay. Yes, I would have. No, you know what? I wouldn't have another child even if I win the lottery. Mm -hmm. uh, you, yes. in your case? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't no. because the world is too corrupted. Oh, yes. The yes. world, yeah. And the environment and... Look in, look in the United States. I mean, people are killing each other for no reason. Yes. 
I saw I saw a video recently of this YouTuber. He he was recording himself. He put the camera and he went inside the a liquor store and he started a supermarket and he started shooting everybody. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Mr. And Lacey. their money can't help you. Yes. All right. Who has not spoken to it that I haven't seen? Sergio Herrera, let me ask you another question. Hey, teacher. Please, um, this is not, I don't want you to give me your, from your personal experience. This is just imagine, this is a class situation. Would you ever leave your wife or your girlfriend? You can say no, depends. only no. if. Okay. Uh, okay. I, um, I wouldn't leave uh, my wife only if um, she, um, uh, I don't remember the word, um, engañar? Cheats. Uh, only if she cheats. On me. On me. Okay. Okay. So if your wife cheats or on only you, if I discover she is cheating me. On me. Cheating on me. me. Cheating on me. Okay. Okay. Very good answer. Yes. I I wouldn't change. Uh, I wouldn't leave my wife only if she is cheating on me. Very good. I had a friend in a terrible situation because they have four children. And um, he discovered his wife was cheating on him. And he was in, in that situation because automatically, yes, I would leave her, but he can't because there are four children. Whoa. Yes. So it's like, oh my God, I feel Very sorry for him. Hard situation. Yes. Yeah. You know, and everybody would tell him, no, 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 forget, leave her, leave her. And I said, no, man, that's difficult. In first, anyone could say, yes, I do. I'll, I will do it. But only if you are in the real situation, you can discover what would you do. You really would do. Mm -hmm. But they went to therapy. I think it's a very hard situation. It is. It is. And four children. Can you imagine? Yes. It's just terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't leave. I don't know if I would leave my wife if she cheated on me. Depends. If my son is big, yes. Or I would leave my wife if Shakira wants me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Or Scarlett. Okay. Okay. You know, she says, yeah, you know, I, I, I would I would adopt her children. Your chance with Pique? Uh, yeah, you know, I don't, you know, I'm sorry, Pique. <laughs> Yo le dije eso a mi esposo, mira, ¿qué haría si te dejo por Shakira? Me voy con ustedes. Me dice, so. <laughs> Hace lo que quieras, pero... It's a very smart decision. Yeah, yeah, she said... <laughs> Just buy, really? okay. buy me yeah. a house, buy me a house uh -huh. with my son, and I'm happy. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. It's very and smart. She, and she smart sell, decision. she sell, um, no, she sell, okay, and you, you buy me a beautiful car, and I don't have a problem. That's what, that's what she said. I was offended. <laughs> A mansion and a car, okay. uh, yeah. and in a in a monthly payment, in a beautiful <laughs> in a beautiful um, ¿cómo se llama? pension. Something <laughs> else. Yes. yes. No, that's what she said, and, and then I just said, you know what? Forget <laughs> it. I will never. <laughs> I would stay with you then. <laughs> and a lot of and and. In a lot of uh, travel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good argument. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a very good yes, argument. It is. <laughs> I think. So in this case, my wife would accept me to cheat on her only if I give her a good life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the probability. Only if. And and everybody uh, will be happy because you stay with Shakira and she has a good life. And then everything is love and peace. Yes, it's true. I'm learning in this class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, class, then thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll continue this tomorrow. Okay, okay? see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you.